My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, we're going to take a look at the theme editor that's been added to Adobe Experience Manager 6.2 Forms. The theme editor allows a non-technical user to create and customize a theme that can be applied to a series of forms to ensure consistency either with a corporate brand or just consistency across multiple forms. Not only does this make it easier to create the forms, but it also makes it easier to maintain forms over time. If I ever have a change that needs to be made, rather than having to edit each individual form, I can simply edit the theme. The theme editor is found under the Adobe Experience Manager menu. I'm going to select Forms and then the Themes icon. Here I see an existing library of themes that I can use to get up and running very, very quickly. In this case, though, I'm going to create my own theme by clicking on the Create button and then selecting Theme. I'll give my theme a name. In this case, we're going to create something that we'll use for external surveys. So I'll call it my external survey theme. AEM automatically provides a name based on my title. I can give it a description. I can also apply tags to it. And I'll click the Create button to create my theme. Once created, I can open up my theme in the Theme Editor by clicking on the Open button. And this opens up my theme with a preview form included. The preview form is here to let me visualize all of the changes I'm making to my theme. A preview form is automatically loaded, but if you would like to change the form that's being used, simply click on Configure under the Options and select a different preview form. You can also choose a base client library to get started very quickly. I'm going to cancel here because I'm happy with my preview form. Over on the left-hand sidebar, I can see all of the different components that I can use to create styles and themes, changing any visual aspect of this entire form. In fact, of the theme, which can be applied to multiple forms. I can search for particular components here simply by typing in some characters. But we've made it even easier to change and find the components simply by clicking on the form itself. Virtually every component on this form can be stylized. I can simply click on that component, selecting here either the field widget or the text box widget, or even selecting the parent at any time by clicking on that parent icon. And I can do this for every component on the form, whether it's a field that I want to change the text properties, the font properties for, or whether it's something like a help icon. I can simply click, click that icon, select the widget itself, and then use these properties over here in the theme editor to change the look and the feel. For example, if we do want to change the help icon, I can go and twirl open the background property of the help icon. Let's change the background color from a blue to a green. We'll make that a darker green. There we go. I'm going to keep the existing image that's there, which is a white question mark, and click on the Save button. And we've changed the color of the help icon for our theme. We can apply that now to multiple forms, making stylizing multiple forms and making them consistent very, very easy. We're going to do something similar by editing the error properties of our fields. And to do that, I'm going to click the field component itself. In this case, I want to target the text box widget rather than the entire field widget. And here I've got the same ability to modify the properties. But in this case, it's something I want to do only for errors. So I'm going to choose a different state. Right now we're on the default state, which is going to affect uh, the default. I'm going to select the error state, which is only going to apply when there's an error on the form. Here I'm going to choose a different background color for the error state. Maybe a red would make sense for when there's an error. I will lower the alpha channel down to something fairly transparent, say 13 degrees. And we're also going to add an image. I'm going to hover over Add and click the Image link to upload something from my file system. I can also browse through the digital asset library if I've already uploaded my content. In this case, I'm going to select this warning image from my hard drive and click Open. That will automatically upload it to my uh, form theme. I'm going to close the popover and see what this looks like by simulating an error. I'm going to open up this widget here and select the Simulate Error checkbox. Now, there's a few problems with my current style that I can see using my preview form. To fix those problems, I'm going to go ahead and edit the properties of this component. I'm going to change the size 
to something custom, say 20 pixels by 20 pixels. I'll change the position to right center, and I'll change the tiling to no repeat. Now I'm happy with the way this looks. I'll click close popover and save my changes. So at any time we can simulate the successful submission of a form or simulate an error on the form so that we can see what those changes look like on our preview form. I'm going to stop simulating an error. There's one more change I'd like to make to this particular theme, and that's to change the active field color to make it really obvious to our end users what field they're on as they're filling this form out. To do that, I'm going to select this same component, this text box widget that's already selected, but I'm going to change the state from error to focus. And rather than adding a background color, in this case, I want to add a background gradient. So I'm going to select gradient. I do want a linear gradient. 180 degrees is perfect for my angle. I just need to select my two colors. In this case, I think I'll select a blue. By adjusting my RGB values, let's lower the transparency on that significantly. 12 should work well for that. And I can also change my second color. I can reverse the colors, by the way, at any time by clicking this reverse gradient. So let me go ahead and select white as my second color. And then I'll once again reverse the gradient so that we've got blue at the top, white at the bottom. I'll close the popover, click the Save button, and I can view these changes at any time by going from the Edit mode to the preview mode. That will open up my theme in the preview mode where I can go ahead and start filling it out. And you can see here we've got a brand new gradient for my active or uh, focused field. We've got our brand new help button and we've got a brand new error display if we submit this with errors. I'm going to click back on the edit button to return to my theme editor. For now, I've made all of the changes I'd like to make, and those are actually reflected in the CSS that gets automatically generated. If you'd ever like to see that CSS, you can click on the Theme Options button and click View Theme CSS. And that will open a pop-up box with all of the CSS that's automatically generated from this new theme editor. I'm going to click Close. I'll close my tab because this is automatically saved. And I'll go ahead and publish this particular theme. Now that I've created my theme, it's very easy to apply that theme to multiple forms. And by doing that, I'm making it easier to make changes in the future. If I've got additional changes I'd like to make to the theme, rather than going and editing those individual forms, I can simply edit the theme itself. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to click Adobe Experience Manager. Once again, I'll click Forms. This time, I'll select Forms and Documents. I've got a folder of forms that I'll open. And we have a survey form. I would like to use this externally, so I'm going to go and edit this survey form and open it up in my forms editor. With the form automatically open, I'm going to open the form container object or select my form container object and then click on the configure icon to configure this particular form. And in the panel here, one of the properties I can adjust is the adaptive form template. I'm going to choose the brand new external survey form theme that we just created and click Save. And that will apply my brand new theme to this form. That's how easy it is to create themes and apply them to a series of forms to ensure consistency across all of your forms and across your organization. Thanks for your time.